The base set was first released for the Duel Masters trading card game in March 2004. Many of the cards have simplistic or no effects, making them useful for introducing new players to the game. The most highly sought after cards include Earth Purifying Elemental, Death Liger Lion of Chaos, Gatling Sky Terror, and of course, Bullshock Dragon. Some of the most powerful cards in this set continued to see play throughout the entire lifespan of Duel Masters, such as Aquahulkus, Terror Pit, and Bronze Arm Tribe. And anybody who has ever heard of Duel Masters would recognize the iconic Holy Awe. In this brand new original series, both Michael Schwartz and- This is an original. You stole this from Simo's Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series. What? Uh, uh, well, well, we're the first ones to do it with Duel Masters, so it still counts. Nope, still wrong. German Duel Masters already did it first. Shit. Uh, this is awkward. Uh, well, anyways, in this series, both Michael Schwartz and myself will be opening 24 booster packs, or one box, of a core Duel Masters booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each new episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released, moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of the episode. This is the Duel Masters Progression Series. Welcome to the first episode of the Duel Masters Progression Series. We're just going to open some packs, play a match, and I'm going to win. Uh, let's see what we can get. We're going to be really looking for some of the staples like Holy Awes, Terror Pits, Natural Snares, and of course... Aqua Hocus, Bronze Arm Tribe, all the good uh, shield triggers, etc, etc. So let's just jump in and see what we get. Basically... Most of the base set is complete and utter garbage from what I remember. In the first pack, that's Saucerhead Shark. It could be worse. It could be worse. We're picking up some Beast Folk, which is going to be pretty good for the next episode when we bring in the evolution creatures. Uh, Nomad Hero Gigio, uh, not very good. And there we have the first big poll, Bull Shock Dragon. Now, this is one of those cards where I'm probably not going to play it. Like, to be honest, I'm more excited about seeing that Bronze Arm Tribe. But just for the nostalgia points, Bull Shock Dragon is a sick poll. I love to see that. Crystal Memory, though. That's pretty nice. Uh, search your deck for any card. Shuffle your deck afterwards. It could really help, especially in this limited format when we're going to only get like one of, of like the big beaters that we have. Okay, Cenotine Jade Tree is good. I think this thing is good too, right? Yeah, that thing's actually solid. Brain Serum's a good staple. Uh, Burning Main could be really good next set. I'm, I'm starting to get a little worried that I might not see some good Terror Pits, but the first super rare is coming in right here with Hanusa Radiance Elemental. Now... Cards like this are generally not that playable in, like, constructed Duel Masters, but when you're playing a format like this, where we're limited in, like, our removal, there's not going to be that much removal, especially in Episode 1. Like, because, like, Terror Pit is a rare. You're not going to get that many. So how are you going to deal with a 9,500 beater? I don't know if you can. So, so far, I'm looking to be playing light. Uh, oh, I forgot Death Smoke was in this set. I think Death Smoke is actually going to be really good in this format i mean it saw play in control decks uh anyways so that's a really nice pickup still not looking good but that aqua hulkus is that the first aqua hulkus after 10 packs that's not looking very good for me finally the first aqua hulkus but honestly this is one of the cards i wanted the most i think that's going to be really good especially next set once we get crystal lancer that's pretty yucky. I don't want to see that. Give me a... Yes! I was about to say, give me a terror pit. We got the terror pit. One terror pit down in 12 packs. Can we get a second? I'm hoping for it. I'm hoping for it. Oh my gosh. We got the earth purifying elemental here. Uh, so this is the thing on the cover of the base set, I think, if I remember right. Um, It isn't actually very good. It's probably going to be useful in just today's match because it's limited and we're not going to have very many good cards, basically. But uh, yeah, this is just an iconic card, though. Really nice to see that. Yes. Okay, I'm definitely playing light. Grandger Space Guardian. 9,000 power on a blocker in a set where, like, how are you going to deal with it? You could, like... Spiral Gate he's probably going to have. Maybe one Terra Pit in his deck. One Natural Snare. Uh, 
I'm really happy about seeing that because that 9,000 power is insane. We've we, we've got the other angel command here. This may be the makings of a light beatdown deck here. We'll see what happens. Natural Snare. Another good shield blast with just good removal. Aqua Hulkus, I feel pretty confident we have a play set by now. If not, we still got a few more packs to go. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, yeah, Bronze Arm, Aqua Hulkus, another... Oh, and I, di I didn't even see we got Terra Pit. That is a nice pickup. Just a shield trigger, destroy one of your opponent's creatures. Just really good. Oh my god, Bull Shock Dragon number two. I might have to play Fire. I might play Fire. Because if you think about it, I had a lot of Tornado Flames. Magma Gazer is pretty darn good too. Uh, one of your creatures gets plus 4,000 power and double breaker. You could just end games with that. And Bullshock Dragon, even though like its effect is kind of ass, I think it'll be really funny if I come in with the Bullshock Dragon deck. I guess we got the the second Earth Purifying Elemental here. Uh, ben is not going to be happy today once these things start hitting the field. Four to go. Scarlet Sky Terror. Oh shit. Okay, I love Scarlet Sky Terror. It's I, in this format. It's actually probably really good because like these blockers are probably gonna be in Michael's deck. And if he has like Grand Gur Space Guardian, I could just take it out and swing for the win. I if I'm playing Bullshock Dragon and Scarlet Sky Terror, this deck is gonna be insane. <laughs> Death Blade Beetle. Well, I, actually, th this card may not be that bad in a base set meta, but uh, when I was younger, I thought this card was just absolutely insane. Uh, that is not the case. It's a body that does things and not much. Oh my gosh, we got the holy uh All right, bed, bed, bed's done here. We've got all the good shield triggers. We've got all the good staples. And I, how do you say it? I don't know. It's a Slayer, but actually, Slayer is probably pretty damn good in this format because we're talking about like what is the removal on creatures? Uh, maybe you have Terror Pits, but you probably don't. So that's where Slayer comes in. You can just get over any creature, not get over it, but trade with it. <laughs> What even is this? Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't even know if we want to play this many Angel Commands, but uh, get, we're probably going to do it anyways, just for the memes. Crystal Memory is another really nice staple, actually. Glad to see that. Last pack magic. Can we see anything? And we do! Let's go, Gatling Sky Terror. That is actually so good. Uh, so, Gatling Sky Terror can attack untapped creatures. Get this thing out on the board it's gonna swing over most anything and we're playing in a at a time when speed attackers aren't a thing so in order to put anything on the board you have to summon it and wait a turn before it can do anything and if i already have gatling sky terror on the field i can just go in bam let's go but so yeah that's gonna do it then we'll hop into octgn and uh see what type of deck we can build so what i'm calling this deck for now i guess is a. Uh, Angel Command Control. You can see we've got the two Earths and the two Hanusas here. Uh, so we've got uh, Light, Dark, and Fire. Um, not a whole lot of Fire, actually, but we've got some. And so basically what this deck is trying to do is stall out the early game and then get rid of our opponent's key threats through a variety of avenues that I'll go through with the card by card. Um, and then eventually just slap down one of these bad boys here and then uh, basically just pray to God that Ben can't deal with it because it's limited and dumb stuff happens in limited. So the hope is that uh, once we get these down, we're just going to win the game in short order, either by killing all of his stuff and then eventually closing in for game or just swinging in immediately, uh, whatever happens. Um... So we've got a suite of early blockers. We've got the one of La Giga Sky Guardian, two Emerald Grass, three Cenotine Jade Tree, and three Ruby Grass. And so these are all just blockers that have decent stats um, for their cost. And the reason I care about decent stats on these cards also is because we're running a lot of um, tap effects, basically. And so tap effects is one of the ways we're going to be trying to control the board. 
got two soul array to tap down a creature and then attack it with say a Cenotine jade tree or whatever um this is also a shield trigger so that's nice if ben's playing some sort of uh rush or aggro deck this guy here is a, a three drop 1000 with an enter the battlefield trigger that taps a creature so we can use this to kill things basically moonlight flash taps two creatures um and hopefully we can kill them um so then we've got <laughs> this bad boy here la purification enforcer this card is utter garbage but um the reason we're running it here it's just a big body and we want big bodies with our tap effects we have the one of Toa Vizier of Hope. This is a guy that basically untaps all your creatures at the end of the turn. Um, this is going to be really good if it's sort of like a mirror match where Ben's running the same type of deck as I am. Um, this will basically allow us to tap his things, kill them, and then at the end of turn they'll untap because of this guy and that will prevent us from being vulnerable to whatever he's going to do. We've got this one, uh, I think this is a very rare, but whatever this was, we pulled this. I don't even think I commented it on it in the pack opening because I thought it was garbage. Um, and it's really not that good, but it's a 3,000 power body. Um, when it enters the battlefield, you can tutor up a spell from your deck. And because we've got uh, Holy Oz and Terror Pits, I think this could actually come in handy. Good enough for limited, I guess. Um, the one of Holy Awe, this card's insane, and auto run in any deck that's running light, even in constructed, and obviously in limited. If this is in your shields, you just tap their entire board, and then you have free reign to do whatever you want. It's busted. Uh, then the uh, four uh, big daddies of the deck here We've got big daddy number one, big daddy number two. These things are what we're going to try and close out the game with. So the Darkness and Fire cards are honestly mostly just removal options. We have two Writhing Bone Ghoul. The reason for this is basically because when I was looking at the deck, I was a bit worried that it just like didn't have enough ways to attack players, basically. So like all these blockers up here, they can attack creatures, but they can't attack players. Uh, so I just wanted a few more uh, ways to possibly close out the game. Like if he deals with my Angel Commands, maybe... This is what uh, carries us through. Probably not, but uh, I, I, I just wanted to have some of these. We'll see if that was a mistake or not. Um, we've got three Death Smoke. I did pull a playset of these, but I'm just not playing it. I felt like I was already running enough removal, and I didn't need um, the extra copies. Um, we've got two Bone Assassin, the Ripper, and one Giga Geely here. <laughs> uh, see if we pronounce that right. These are guys with Slayer. Um, honestly, Slayer is just a pretty good keyword in general, um, but I think it's especially good in Limited, and the reason for that is just sort of big creatures are a lot harder to deal with in Limited, and so the fact that we have creatures with Slayer gives us a way to do that. Um, so that's what these are here for. We've got the one Zagan Knight of Darkness, which is just another uh, big finisher to go along with our Angel Commands. This one is a demon command but uh it still fits the theme um because i said so maybe we can say this is like a fallen angel command or something i just totally made that up but anyways um two terror pit i didn't even see us pull the second one i don't think in the opening but uh this card is also busted shield trigger destroy any creature also really good to just hard cast quite honestly um just a really good darkness staple and i'm really glad to see two of them here uh, one Swamp Worm, this is just a high-cost body that kills a creature when it enters. Um, they get to choose, so it's not great, but this just gives us other ways of removal. Uh, one Crimson Hammer, uh, moving on to the fire. Uh, this is cheap removal if our opponent's on an aggressive deck. As I've said, I don't think Ben's going to do that. And if I thought he would do that, I would have put more than one in here, but uh, this is what we've got for now. This is probably the weirdest card in here, quite honestly. One super explosive Volcanodon. <laughs> um, the reason I'm running this, and I honestly wonder if I should be running more of them, but this is just because we have these tap effects um, up in the light cards here. 
This thing has 6,000 power when it's attacking, so it's way overstatted for the purposes of basically creature combat. Um, and so that's why we're running this as a one of here. Um, we'll see how it pans out. Two Meteosaur. Um, you could run more of these, but like if our opponent doesn't have 2,000 power creatures, this is just dead. Um, it's a, it's a 2,000 power creature for five mana, which is obviously bad. Um, so you don't want too many in case your opponent isn't running cheap creatures, but if they are running cheap creatures, this thing is insane. And it does hit like Aqua Hulkus or Bronze Arm Tribe, it bends on those, which if he's playing either of those civilizations, he probably is. Uh, and then three Tornado Flame, this is just another really good shield trigger here. Honestly, Tornado Flame is most of the reason I'm running Fire here. I just really wanted to have access to this. But yeah, so I, I guess that's the deck. I guess we will call that good and hop in and see who comes out on top. This is the deck I will be bringing to today's duel. It's kind of a weird one, I think, but let's just take a look at the card by card and I'll kind of explain my choices. So, first of all, uh, color-wise, I went for Water, Darkness, Fire, Nature. Four Civ deck. I did say I was going to play Light for sure, but then I realized besides Grandgur and Hanusa, I didn't really pull that much. And, like, even the lower stuff wasn't helping me that much. So, because of that, I needed some other blockers, so I went with four Bloody Squeedos. And that's, like, good early blockers. Pretty strong in case he's playing Rush. Four Spiral Gates. Good shield blast, can remove anything from the board, especially the big hitters that I don't want to see. Followed up by three Crimson Hammers. Just in case he tries to play Rush, I've got something to take out, like the early stuff. Moving on to the three drops, we've got four Bronze Arm Tribes, because I'm playing a lot of like uh, heavy, high-ish cost cards, so I want to ramp up to that as fast as I can. So Bronze Arm Tribe is going to really help me just build some advantage. Same thing with Aqua Hulkus, I'm just going to build advantage by getting cards to my hand. Now, unfortunately for water, I didn't really draw too many good blockers, so I had to go with my one copy of Phantom Fish and two Revolver Fishes. One Magma Gazer, because again, it's another fire card I can easily put in the graveyard, and I can help just juice something up to start taking down big things, or go in to end the game with some of my weenies. Four Bone Assassin the Ripper. Now, I didn't come into today thinking I was going to play this card, but when I was thinking about it more, I'm like, hmm. Slayer that's like a mid-game card that can like attack and like it goes over Bronze Arm Tribe. We can take out big stuff with it. We can go through blockers if they've he's got like big blockers on board. I can just like use that to go through. And yeah, it's pretty good, I think. We'll see how it goes. It's kind of a gamble. I haven't really played around with it that much. Uh we've got one unicorn fish. I only pulled one, but it's a super good tempo card. Bounce out their strong guy while putting a thing on the board. Two copies of Death Smoke. I could have gone higher with this, but I felt like I was okay because I have a lot of other removal uh, through like Tornado Flame, Crimson Hammers, and my uh, Terra Pit Root Trap lineup, but I, we'll see. I can always adjust it in the later episodes. Uh, for our more draw engine, we have one Brain Serum only, which is kind of sad, and one Crystal Memory. Uh, crystal Memory is going to let us search out some of our one of beaters that are going to really help us in the late game. Two copies of Ultimate Force, it's kind of a risk when I, my my good stuff is kind of sitting at like one ofs where I might lose it to the mana zone. Ultimate Force, put the top two cards of your deck to the mana. So like, oh, maybe I'll lose out on my Bullshot Dragons. Maybe I'll lose out on my Sky Terrors, right? Like, I don't know. But I think it's going to be worth it because if I go turn five, Ultimate Force, next turn I can drop Scarlet Sky Terror or Gatling Sky Terror and just start beating. That's going to be pretty strong. Meteosaur is like another good like tempo card. Uh, I can use it to just knock out the Aqua Hulkuses, the Bronze Arm Tribes, the basic stuff. And while also putting a body on the board because I need something to attack with to win the game. Four copies of Tornado Flame just because I think shield triggers are going to be really good because there's Noble Medius yet. Like you can't just send shields to the graveyard. So we're going to go Tornado Flame. It's going to kill most of like the mid-range stuff. It's not going to be that good at taking out like anything, but that's why we have our one Natural Snare and one Terror Pit. Obviously, if I had more, I would have played them, but I'm working with what I got. And for our beaters, we've got two copies of Bullshock Dragon, one copy of Gatling Sky Terror, and not really a beater, but kind of like a game ender is Scarlet Sky Terror. 
I'm playing a 46 card deck. I think I could have gone less, but I felt like between the Ultimate Forces, Brain Serum, Crystal Memory, Aqua Hulkus, Bronze Arm Tribe, I felt like I'll be okay going a little bit over. And yeah, we're going to see how it goes. I might end up reducing that in the future, but overall, I'm pretty content with it. It's obviously not like the best pulls, but I'm pretty happy with it. Without further ado, let's jump in. It's time to duel. All right, we are here with episode one of the Duel Masters progression series. Michael, how were your polls today? My polls, uh, my polls were quite good. Um, my deck building skills, um, maybe not the, there. The, the, the jury's still out on that one. All right, I, we'll I, see. I guess I... we'll find out. All right, so let's let's get this started. I've got a one or a two typed into the text box. If you call it correct, you can choose first or second. If not, I will. I, I know you've got a two type down, Ben. It was a one, you I'm... idiot. Oh my god. Alright, I'm you know what? I'm gonna play I first. I'm gonna cheap. play first. Are you ready? Um as ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Alright, good luck. Holy All right. well, holy my hand is bad. I am gonna start <laughs> off the progression series. By playing Tornado Flame to mana and ending my turn. Tornado Flame, that is a good card. It's a, it's a card, it's not bad. Yeah. I wish it was in my shields. I, I draw for a turn, right? That's how yeah, yeah, you draw. works. Okay. What do you got? I'm, I'm curious to see what colors you got. Okay! We'll, we'll just... We'll, we'll, we'll match sure. uh, what you're doing and then you can sure. go ahead. Alright. I will draw for turn. Ooh. I... I'm going to Is it? charge Death Smoke to mana and end my turn. Ending your turn, no plays yet. No plays. I don't, no plays. I don't know how that's gonna turn out. We're gonna play a little bit passive to begin with, I guess. See what you got. See what you got. All right, all right. What you got for me? Whole lot of nothing. That's what I get for you. Are you gonna charge the Death Smoke as mana and copy me again somehow? Uh, I am not going to do that. Oh. Here it is. Oh my We're god. Throw down earth purifying elemental. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty darn happy seeing that in mana and not on the field. What on earth just happened? Oh, you just moved it to your battle zone. Alright, is that uh, it? Your, your go though. No, I, right, I'll I, draw. I, I, Yikes. I'm gonna charge Crimson Hammer to mana zone and I will end my turn. Okay. Not, not much exciting for me. Not much exciting from you. I feel like... I get the feeling you're, you've got some beaters in there. I might be seeing a, a Hanusa in my future. I mean, I literally said during the deck recording, I was like, if, if Ben is playing X, then this card is going to be useful. But honestly, he's probably not doing that, and we're just going to have some garbage mirror match. Uh oh, oh no. I, I feel like it's not looking up right now. So far, that looks like what's happening. Uh, well, you were right about the beaters. There's... Oh my god, it's again, Knight of Darkness! Uh, you can That's go, insane. though. That's insane. Alright, alright. I'm gonna draw a card. And you know what I'm gonna do? I um... am gonna summon the first creature of the progression oh series. Oh my gosh, that is a change. I'm gonna charge Ultimate Force to mana. Uh, and okay. I'm gonna tap three cards to summon... Bronze Arm Tribe. That and is I will a good card. Turn. I do though. I'm actually scared at how many like beaters and super rares you have because that's two in the mana zone already. That scares me just a little bit. <laughs> what do I want to do here? I don't even know. All of these cards I don't want to send to my mana zone. You could just pass um, on three mana and let I'm me not, go to six. I'm, I'm not passing. Don't have to worry about that. I guess we'll throw this to mana. Oh, okay, okay. We'll tap everything. Okay. Throw out mana. Uh, this bad boy. Oh Bone my assassin, god! The Bone assassin the Ripper. He's cracked. He, <laughs> he is bigger than your Bronze Arm Tribe. He is bigger than my Bronze Arm Tribe. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just tap three mana 
And I'm just gonna summon Bronze Arm Tribe. That is not a bad play. That is a Maybe natural snare in my mana zone. And I'm gonna tap two mana. Oh, he's he's going for again. bloody Squeedle because oh I can God. block your That's bonus ass in the river. Bad, yeah. And your Slayer doesn't mean anything. Uh, I'm not gonna attack you. I'm just gonna pass. You're sure? You're sure? Yeah, Dude, yeah I'm this... sure. I'm wide open for the kill. No, nope, no, nope, you're you're good. You can take it. Take your draw. Okay. I'll just throw the Sunatine Jade Tree to mana here. Uh, and we will tap three mana, and uh, it looks so good in the mana zone. Okay. Here I'll just put one in the field, too. I feel that. Are you going to attack um, with bonus ass uh, and the Ripper? No. Here go. All right. <laughs> and blocker's too scary for me. All right. We're going to we're gonna do something real insane here, I think. I'm going to play... Spiral gate to mana. You're on four civilizations. Okay. I am on four civilizations, and I'm gonna tap three for this Aqua Hulkus that I have been sitting on since turn one <laughs> with no blue mana. Oh jeez. And I do not like your blocker, so I'm gonna end my turn. Fair enough. This will throw him to mana. Oh I don't... no, writhing bone ghoul. Oh, wait, that is six mana. I don't like what I see. <laughs> no, you got the two earth! The second earth purified elements. Oh, my God. I, I hope you're prepared for this, Ben. I, I'm not doing anything else now, though. Go ahead. I mean, that's... Two earth is pretty darn good. I'm not going to lie. But actually... You know what else is pretty darn good? One, two, three, four... For death smoke. Death smoke, I assume on the earth. Yeah, yeah, on that the earth. Pretty good. And Boy. two oh, okay. goes right over here. For crimson hammer to get rid of your Ooh. slayer before he can do anything. Nice, good. nice. Okay. I'm just gonna pass my turn because I cannot get through a 4K blocker, unfortunately. I think now that you have two Earths gone and a, a Zagan Knight of Darkness in your mana zone, I'm not really too worried about what you play on me. But there could still be... We'll play this. Oh, come Gigi on. Another Slayer? Another Slayer, yeah. And then you can go ahead. I'm, I'm content to just hang out here. You know what? Three mana. Bronze Arm Tribe. Okay, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> I can't do anything with the Bronze Arm Tribes. I need a beater. I don't have You're multiple Earths. bigger Earth. creatures here. Well. No, 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 not a third Earth. Not a third Earth. It is a meteor. Okay, sword, that's though. not We're bad. We're gonna pop that Aqua Hulkus. Yeah, that's what I figured. We're gonna just press delete, I believe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> just delete it. Uh, Are you gonna go I, in with your Gigil? I, I, I mean, I, I have to go in eventually. You do I have to go in. Don't eventually. think now's the time. You can go ahead. All right. Like, I could just win my deck out. How many cards are in your deck? Can I? See I have that twenty-four anywhere? cards left in my deck. Oh no! I can't win my deck out. <laughs> and I'm gonna start putting up my wall. Go ahead. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, if you, I don't. It doesn't show the other player's deck size, but my initial deck size was 46. I'm just gonna pass. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. I don't like that. I get the feeling you're just holding Terror Pit for when I finally draw something. All right. Who would here do it something comes. like that? Surely not me. Your good oh, friend, Bone Assassin the Ripper. Go ahead. See, I see. Bonus? I, can, I, he's, I think he's good in this format. Players are insane. We're just gonna oh, run out a tornado flame, hit the... The bloody Squeedo, right? No, I think I want to hit the bonus. And actually, All I'm right, not bonus too afraid of your dead. blockers. Troy card, there we go. All right, yeah, your go. Good card. Bad card. Pass. Truly <laughs> <laughs> really a, a thrilling game of. Oh, uh, yes. Of this Duel is just Masters great. Here. This is great Duel Masters gameplay. What what more can you expect from the base set? <laughs> where just nothing does anything. And you just that is sit a there. fair point. Uh, 
Right. We will one man play a whopper okay. giga sky guardian and uh, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll just end my turn. I'm not too worried about that. Oh, let's go. Maybe th these broadsword tribes will get scary eventually if you get few more things. How to store up my Aqua defenses somehow. Focus. Oh yeah. my. I'm going to play Aquahocus. That's fair. It's a card, all right. I will end my turn. All right, he's back for round two. No, what? Is, who is he? Bone assassin. Bone assassin. Why? <laughs> uh, let me. I'm almost definitely not in here, but yeah, I think we just pass. Yep, that's fair. Yes, you know what I mean, though. Go ahead. I, I, this is a head scratcher. What do I want to do? Uh, I'm not really worried about what you play, so I'm gonna pass actually. <laughs> we're we're both in passing. God, what, how much is in your deck left? Uh, seventeen. Okay, I've got nineteen, so I'm still sitting comfy. It's gonna be a long first episode. <laughs> Jeez, we have three games to play here too. Yeah, huh? we, we got the power of video editing, though. That's true. <clears throat> Uh, if you thought I was going to play things that matter, you're wrong. But we'll run out another blocker. Yep, you got I love it. the art on this Sentai Jade Tree, by the way. But anyway, go ahead. Oh, the art is sick. Alright, you have three in hand. You have six mana. Certainly, you are sitting on a terror pit. But I don't care. I have to do it at some point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right off the top of the deck. Gatling Sky Gatling Terror. Sky Terror. He is a big boy. And all, I think this thing is actually insane. And oh, limited, he is insane. Just so we're clear. I will end my turn and I will pray that you do not terror pit this. But I don't think that, that my prayers are going to come true. I'm not going to lie. Or at least a death smoke. Like, you, you keep thinking I, I have Terror Pit. I don't know why you would say I, that. I guess but, I uh, shouldn't assume such we're, a thing. We're going to go ahead and tap six mana Oh, here. come on. Could could, could be anything. <laughs> yep, uh, yep, it's yep, 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 dang it. You had me for a minute. I thought you didn't have it. We're going to get rid of that by Terror. Oh, come on. And um, let's just go ahead. <laughs> All right, this is pretty decent. I guess I can untap my cards. One, two, three, four, five, excuse me, for Meteosaur. Meteosaur. And I'm gonna get rid of your You're Slayer. Too. Yeah. Uh, the Bone Assassin. Yeah. The Meteosaur yeah. is officially Bone Assassin the Ripper Killer. <laughs> um, I will pass right there. And you could have like Aqua Sniper or something. That would Dude, not. Dude, I be wish fun. I had an Aqua Sniper. Like if right you now. if you Aqua Sniper me, suddenly you've got five attackers and I've got one blocker. I can do some cleanup on my turn, but I don't know if it's enough. Yeah, I guess. I guess we have to play mana here. Oh God. And uh, going up to seven for the first time. Is it getting tapped for Death Liger? Sensed a Hanusa Radiant Elemental. Oh my god! <laughs> you oh, were correct. Insane! Then I'm guessing that's ahead. the end of your turn. Yep. So we have a tradition here on the progression series. After one episode, we have a tradition. Yeah, yeah, we do. Do you know what that uh, that tradition is? Uh, what is it? It's you play a massive beater. And then the other player, you know what they do? <laughs> they just run out the they, terror pit. They tap six mana, that's what they do. <laughs> and they play right. the terror pit. Right. I got one too, yep. I've been holding yep. it. That, that's fine, fine with me. So yeah, we're gonna get that out of there before that becomes a problem. And then we're actually gonna... I played mana, so I could also do this, and I will draw my card. And then I will end my turn. Oh. Just to build up a massive field. It doesn't it do anything, but I here. build it. I swear, if you got two Earth Here's and two Hanusa, here. I hate everything. Oh, if got you've it. got Scarlet Sky Terror, you've got Scarlet Sky Terror. Scarlet Sky just... Terror? What's that? Uh, it's a, it's a card from this set. But uh, we will Tornado Flame your bloody skull. 
and oh god okay okay oh wait oh no okay i see where you're going with this okay you have to go in at some point i guess i'm not actually going wait in though, yet. i'm looking I'm at just... your field i'm like oh god you have five attackers but like only two of them can even do anything i'm not worried uh, anymore no i'm i'm i'm, 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 I'm not going in but i want to <laughs> get the blocker out of the way now yeah that's fair uh, and you you can go ahead. Uh, show me the Scarlet Sky Terror. The Scar Scarlet Sky Terror. Like what even is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like nine. Just to play a Scarlet Sky Terror, what? I have to have like eight mana already. I have to be sitting yeah. on a massive board. <laughs> yeah, like, that, that's what you'd have to do. And then I'd have to on my turn just go and tap eight mana like that. Yeah. And I would have to like just like that. from my hand play a Scarlet Sky Terror. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. What are the odds <laughs> of that? Like that? All right, that that kills everything. Right, or all blockers. All blockers. Yeah. Bye bye board. And you know what we're gonna? Do, do we're you just gonna go in. I mean, I feel like now is just as good a time as any to do it. So, I'm gonna tap the Aqua Hulkus and just start hitting shields. Uh, we'll just go from shield. We'll just go from one. We are going to. Go with Meteor Soar on the next shield. Oh, that's good. Oh, I get OCTGN working, yep. Alright, Aqua Hulkus. I wish I had had this in my hand. Bronze Arm Tribe. <laughs> yep. Bronze Arm Tribe. Yep, you got it. I, actually, I have a lot of triggers. Oh, I think God. I'm content to let you go first, quite honestly. Alright, I will start off. Are you are you confirming that? You're gonna let me go yeah, first? Yeah, you, you can go first. Alright, so if I'm going first, I'm gonna start it out just like last time with a tornado flame, and I will pass the turn. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna do the same thing. Yeah, I'm kind of happy that Throw this, this bad boy to man. All right, all here right. Here go. Dude, I never noticed how cool the art is on that thing until now. That thing is actually kind of sick. Oh, dude. I would draw I... a card. <laughs> no one ever this? played this garbage. All right, go ahead. You you know you not you know not to worry about tornado flames this game, I guess. Right. So wait, let's just let, let me just recap the beaters that you had. You had two Earth that I saw. You had Zagan, Knight of Darkness, and you had Hanusa. Yep, you got it right. Dang. Uh, your go. Alright. Um, we're gonna play that to mana. And I'm actually pretty happy to, to start off with actually being able to play Aqua Hulkus this time. I ate Aqua I Hulkus is good. To you. Yeah, I, I started with Aqua Hulkus in my hand last time, but like, I never had blue, but I actually started with blue this time. Pretty content with that. You know what I should play to mana, but I, I can't pass up on the value. My mind sees the opportunity oh, for no. value, and I just can't. I can't pass it up. Is it is it play the card to mana to so you can summon something, or save this again, Knight of Darkness, or something like that? It's it's that sort of thing. All right, all right. I see it. I know that feel. I think we're you just, just figure, gonna play like... it to mana, so you, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. There's a juicy Meteosaur target right there. There is a juicy Meteosaur target. Three uh... mana. Okay, send a time Jade Tree, that's fine. Go ahead. I will draw for turn. Let's charge the bloody Squido to mana. And... Let's get out Bone Assassin the Ripper. Right, and right. I'm not attacking into the Jade Tree. You can go <laughs> ahead. I'm not going to lie. It's like scarier this time now that I know what beaters you have and I don't see them in mana yet. So I'm just looking at your <laughs> hand and assuming they're all there. Ruby Grass. You can untap Ruby at the end grass, of your turn. Yes. Okay. That's not bad. Right. Uh, Go ahead. It didn't work out so well last game, but I'm fine just stalling it out. 
I'll play that to mana, and then I'll pass the turn. I don't want right. to play anything. I'll just keep building up, build the suspense. Cool. How does that sound? Get the suspense up in here. <clears throat> tricky indeed. What's so tricky? Deciding if you should summon Meteosaur on my bone assassin, the Ripper. Me Meteosaur just... would not be a hard decision. <laughs> yeah. Low key, like bonus ass in the Ripper. I was not expecting how like insane this card can be. Dude, Slayer is really good. Like honestly, I, I like part of me almost thinks we should have been playing Slayers and corrupted in Dual Masters also. Oh, that's, that's eh. a bold claim. Actually, now that I'm the, the meadow was a bunch of garbage creatures, so maybe I think the difference well, garbage is garbage in like terms it... of stats. Yeah. The, the difference is if you try to run Slayer and Constructed, you're going to get Core Isled, where, like, right. in base sets, they're going to sit there for sure. Yeah, well, well, like, the other, like, trading a Boat Assassin the Ripper with an Aqua Hulkus is terrible. But trading sure. it with, uh, say, an Earth Purifying <laughs> Elemental. Yeah, that, that I mean, good. but how are you going to do that? The Earth Purifying Elemental untaps. That, that's true. Uh, we'll throw okay. out the boat assassin and your go. Draw a card. I mean, at this point, I guess I don't really need it. Sure. Okay. Um, you have a bonus assassin. You've got blockers. I guess like there's not really a better target, so I'm just gonna tornado flame the bonus assassin. All right. And I'll end my turn. Oh, this is something happy to see. I get a really bad feeling you're gonna just start the Earth beatdown on this turn, because I uh, know you have two, and like you just played it to mana. We're we're gonna Let's play. Back. Oh, hey, this popped up like a dialogue, but we're 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 tapping your boat assassin. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna do it automatically. Yep, that's uh, kind of nice actually. Just gonna sack this root grass into it, I guess. Sure. Move to graveyard. And then you can go ahead. I guess technically he did slay something, right? That's true. I. I guess I'm just gonna pay three mana for Phantom Fish. <laughs> sure. Go ahead. Nothing exciting. Send this thing to mana again. Solar ray. Here it comes. We'll six mana. Six, here. six uh, mana. It's the, the Zagan Knight of okay. Darkness, though. Slightly less scary, but Actually, still, like, pretty good. Just so everyone knows my big brain plays here, we sent Earth to mana instead of this specifically so this could combat Gatling Sky Terror. I'm thinking oh. ahead here. That's actually really smart. But uh, you can go ahead. Or was it so that you wouldn't be vulnerable to death smoke as much? All right, you know what we're gonna do? I didn't even think about that, but let's pretend I did. Let's just pay five mana and we're gonna ultimate force and pray oh, that, that was... it does not get rid of my beat sticks and it does not. I will pass the turn. <laughs> I would just like, please don't put my Gatling Sky Terrors down there. I mean, uh, one Gatling Sky Terror down there. What? You've got two in hand? Yeah, two in hand. Oh, wait, did you- are you- do you, are you playing discard? I feel like I no, should've played I, discard. No, I, I almost was. This card would've been really good against me, because I don't have water. Yeah. Got two in hand. Okay, no. Here, 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 here's what we're gonna do. All right, what are we gonna do? Tell me what we're gonna do. We are going to tap four and play Moonlight Flash. Tap down. Oh! Okay, I'm closing out this dialogue, but we're tapping down both sure. of those boys. Yeah, yeah, they're tapped. And, uh, we're gonna kill both of them. Obviously, Zagan yep. attacks yep. Adam Fish and Senatine is another one. I don't uh, like now that. you can go. I do not like that. I like this though, I won't lie. I'm oh, gonna tap no. one, two, 
three for Aqua Hulkus. I get to draw a card. Aqua Hulkus is good. And then you know what else I really like? What? One, two, three for the top decked Aqua Hulkus. <laughs> so we're going to draw a card. And then I'll pass there, I guess. Right. I'm scared. Man really wants to just swing. Honestly, like I, I don't think swinging early is that bad in this format because if the longer you wait, the higher the chance I just draw into removal. Yeah, I, I mean, you, you could get removal in your shields also. I don't know if that's yeah. quite. But at least if it's in like, my shields, I, I, like I the damage is done. I think if I stall this out too long, you're eventually just going to build out a big board of Aqua Hulkuses and play Scarlet Sky Terror, <laughs> which is what happened last game. And like, I don't. No, have... that didn't happen last time. It was Bronze Arm Tribe last time. <laughs> Whatever it was. But uh, yeah, so actually, I think we're gonna double break with Zagan here. All right. Are we just gonna go one, two, right three, four, five? Not. Yeah, just one, two. Here. All right. We're gonna peek. We're gonna peek. Okay. Uh, Erpid I... isn't a real card, by the way. Just. Oh. Wait, what? Erpid isn't a real card. That's not... I'll take that to hand, and I will. How do I activate this? Awaken. Oh, brain Ooh, serum. Brain serum. To draw two cards. And then this goes to the graveyard. Sure. All right, and we'll we'll swing at shield number three. Then put you on a clock. Think. Of course, I I almost assuredly gave you an answer to one of these. But... Yeah, we're gonna awaken the natural snare. Okay, and we are okay. gonna get rid of Zagan Knight of Darkness. All right, he's in the mana zone. A uh, year go then. Draw. Got seven in hand. Terrible. Yeah. I'm gonna charge that. I'm gonna pay like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. And we're just gonna meteor soar and kill your attacker. All right, all right. And then I'll end my turn. Okay. Oh, we'll pass. Go ahead. All right, I like to see that. I will draw. And now I will put my Terror Pit bait on board. And I'll end my turn. <laughs> All right, let's see. We'll draw. And then six mana? Uh, I think we, we've got to keep the tradition going, right? Okay, that's fair. Uh, I dig it. We'll just tap down six mana, uh, play Terror Pit on your Terror Pit bait. Yep, yep. Hey, it did the job. It absorbed the one of Terror Pit, right? <laughs> uh, well, it may not have done that specifically. Oh, God. But, uh, you can go ahead. Alright. I'm gonna... It, it did absorb a Terror Pit. I'm gonna play the Bronze Arm Tribe. Thank God it didn't put a Beater to my, my zone. And I'll pass turn there. All right, Start draw. Moving my stuff that way. <laughs> I'm just laughing at my hand right now. It's so funny. All right, all right. I'll bet in a million years you never could have seen coming the card I'm about to oh, play never. here. Oh, Does it never. cost six mana? No, it costs five mana. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, then I don't know what it is. Is it Giga Geel? Giga Geely? Oh, that's a, I, that one is a one of. I've got it in the meta zone. Oh, is it a Meteor Soar? Oh, it is Lost Oh Purification my god! Wait, why is that thing so strong? <laughs> why is that putting so much pressure on me? But, uh, you can go ahead. Oh my god, I'm actually mad about how much pressure this puts on me. I have a real for running this card. Okay. It, it, it goes decently well with tap effects in base set, as it turns out. Okay. Screw it, we're doing it, we're doing it. I'm not gonna just sit He's around like a it. sitting duck. I'm doing it. Or are you holding back on me? No, screw it, we're doing it. We have to do it. One, two, three. That, that, that law is putting on too much pressure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. I'm doing it on He's a set time jade tree. I don't even care. I need right. something. Uh, 
And then we are gonna spiral gate your, uh, oh, your purification. No. Okay. Because I do not want that thing cracking back on me. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm not gonna get taken in the crack back. We're gonna hit shield one, please. Please let me just get a clean four right here. Uh, unfortunately, oh, you've got on. a tornado flame here. I I guess we hit focus. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, delete. I mean, we're still gonna go in with it. I, I guess screw it. Untapped Aqua Hulkus shield. Too. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I, I I figured. You're good there. Okay, so I at least got three. So I have you on a clock that you have to do something in That's some true. Way. Will it be enough though? It's not good. All right, you right. go. What what do you got? The law uh, purification forester is not gonna do that much. But that's a seven card hand we're looking at. That's true. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit scared playing the Scarlet when you had one blocker, thinking you were holding them back. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting the removal and the bounce. That's a problem for me. Uh... Yeah, my br I'm thankful for my Bronze Arm Tribe giving me mana at this point. Didn't want to send anything to mana? Maybe we don't. Well, that only matters if uh, you can do anything about this insane board. What's it gonna be? Honestly, I guess we're just not sending any. Oh, I, I guess we have to. Yeah, I'm curious on what you have. Yeah, holy all. That's, is probably that's not supposed to be much. mana. There we go. I'm not gonna lie. I wish I had holy all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna death smoke the sky terror. Sure. Yep, you got it. And then we're going to run out this guy that does nothing. <laughs> but, oh, uh, okay. Go ahead. All right, that is not near as scary as I thought. All right, let's draw a card. Let's just keep the pressure up. One, two, three, four. Bone Assassin the Ripper. All right. And then two more. And I'm just going to Spiral Gate your little guy just in case. Okay. <laughs> that makes some amount of sense. And let's just go in with the Aqua Hulkus. Right. This could be the, the first win, please. Uh, well. Oh, Ab, what are you doing? There we go. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, we're going to hit the Meteosaur. Yep, yep. Man, this you had two shields. Doesn't feel shields. like enough, but uh. And let's see if I can get the, the last shield. Okay, well, that's better than my other shields, but you can get that. All right, go ahead. All right, we're going to have to draw something here. That is not something. <laughs> I don't think a card exists in the game that will get you out of this situation. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> a while ago... I, I said, like, I was just laughing at my hand. I was just sitting on double death smoke, triple spiral gate. And, like, if oh I draw, like, God. another creature, I'm just going in because you can't yeah. stop it. Yeah, no, I can't deal with that much removal. I, I, I'm i dead to the board anyways. Yeah. But, uh, you can, uh... Yeah, you can you can kill that. That's fine. Uh, we, we, we can do that and run out of blocker, which clearly yeah. does not matter. Yeah, yeah. In light of this. <laughs> But, All right, uh, well, GG's. These were weird games. GGs. I was our deck was on you not was... having so much removal. Our our decks were oddly similar, except I pl I went a lot heavier on the removal. Uh, let's see what my shields were: Meteor Soar and Bone Assassin. Yeah, no, I, I was trying to rely on like tap in for removal, which like so, I didn't. It didn't really come together right to actually draw it. Yeah. Uh. I need to show you what you didn't get to see, unfortunately. Oh, I pulled geez. Bullshock oh Dragon. Oh my god. Bullshock Dragon. <laughs> so well, I had to I play actually Fire. I pulled Bullshock and I'm not running it. <laughs> I, I honestly, I was like, you know what? For the meme, I have to. And then I got Scarlet Sky Terror. I'm like, all right, that's that's a pretty good lineup. And then I last pack Magic to the, the Gatling Sky Terror. And so that was my beater lineup. So I had this uh, Scarlet. You had two Hanusas! <laughs> no way! Two Hanusas and two Earths. 
how wait, how many terror pits did you get? Uh, just two. Dang. Okay. You have quite a few of these bad boys. Yeah. Three, Do you have any eight. other beaters besides the Earths, the Hanusas, and the Zagan? No, just those. Okay. I had for my beaters the Scarlet. I guess kind of is Gatling and the I, double bullshot. I, I don't really count that. Yeah, no. I I had like the hope with this deck was like I'd run out early blockers. Like I think I had a play set of Senatine Tree and like the early stuff I could answer with like all this tap stuff that I have and then uh close it out with these other things. But you just had too much like generically good stuff. Yeah, I I had I just went for like generic good stuff and then like a lot of removal. Yeah. So uh, I was playing what four Spiral Gate, four Tornado <laughs> Flame, two Death Smoke, Unicorn Fish, and then Terra Pit Scarlet, and even that I was like, is this even enough? So then I put the Slayers <laughs> in, and I oh, also had geez. Magma Gazer, but I never saw it unfortunately. Magma Gazer is the one that like gives double breaker and plus four thousand power. power. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you had the Death Smokes too? I feel like you just never had them. Yeah, no, I, I was not wanting to. I was wanting to use them on your big things, but I. Yeah. Didn't. I guess both games I did kind of win with the weenies in the end. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I mean I could have like death smoked one of your guys earlier, but that wouldn't have put me in much better of a position. I don't think. How many holy olives did you get? Just the one? Uh, just one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I do have this memory. super explosive. Oh. <laughs> That was my favorite inclusion. In this. That's insane. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that, but I like him. Yeah, he. I mean, he's actually he could be worse. Like six thousand is nothing to scoff at. Yeah, it goes over a lot. I feel like a my like little Aquahocus's Bronze Arm tribes just kind of came through to give me the advantage. Yeah. I did in light. I pulled a Hanusa also actually, and I pulled one Grand Gur. So I was like, Grand oh, is and that was like in my first few packs. Limited. I'm yeah. 100% convinced. I didn't have one. That was like my first couple one. packs. I was like, I'm 100% playing light. And then I didn't get anything else. I didn't get Holy Awe. Yeah. I didn't even get like many of the generic blockers. Like I didn't have any of the, the four or five drop blocker, I don't think. So I figured if I just go blue, I get the Revolver Fish. I get the Aqua Hulkus. <laughs> and then removal right. and meters. I, I was happy with my deck. I think it worked out. I think mine was good against either value decks or like like if, if you were playing like blue green or something or if you were playing like just some black control i think this could have gone better I, maybe i should have gone forces and played water also yeah i, I i'm like glad my, i went for four fire isn't that good and i could have i could have like I, I had i had play set of aqua Hulkus, and i had like i had one crystal memory uh, oh, like honestly crystal. that that was really all i would have i, I could have played the brain serums too i guess i won this around but i feel like in the long term you have better long term pulls with double it, terror pit and holy awe i'm happy with terror pit and holy awe. i will say That's i don't good. have uh i don't have natural but keep in mind i get to spin the wheel next time Oh my so, god. We'll just wrap it up here. That was a good episode. Next yeah, time we'll yeah. catch you guys with the Evil Crushinators of Doom. Peace.